bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Performing academically is not the only challenge facing students. School officials say there is also the issue of bullying. Today, a local institution took a proactive approach in addressing this problem. Italia Hall reports. Bullying is a major concern in many countries, and here in the Bahamas is no exception. This adds school officials continue in their attempt to make campuses across the country bully-free zones. Experts say children are often teased not only at school, but via what has become a growing trend on social media. Officials say fighting, spreading rumors, cyberbullying, and name-calling are also forms of bullying. Here on Grand Bahama students of Sister Mary Patricia Russell Junior High School attended a seminar on Tuesday morning to to be educated on why bullying is wrong. Senior Master Jason Thompson says the idea came from problems happening in the school system. Learning is more than just book study. Things that happen, lunch and break time, even the community come before us with the police. So we try to help students understand that bullying is it's nothing good. And even if you're not being the one bullied, if you see someone else is being bullied, you still have the right to go and tell an authority figure that, you know, this person needs help. And that's what we're trying to have them understand what their role is in stopping bullying. Guest speaker Laquaz Williams shared this advice for children who are victims of bullying. Find somebody they can confide in. Also talk to your parents. Talk to someone. Because if you feel you can't speak to someone, then you'll be isolated and you'll be living in fear. Guidance counselor Sophia Morley DeVoe says the school is doing its part, but parents also have a vital role to play. She's encouraging all parents to conduct themselves in positive ways as their children are watching. If you're cursing somebody who took you over on the red light or someone in a public place, your child is seeing your behavior and they're going to model that behavior. Bullies as children grow into adults who don't care for the law. The school says this is an event that will continue to help make the Bahamas a bully-free country. It's Halia Hall, ZNS Network News. Thanks, Italia. Operation Touch, touching the lives of students in West Grand Bahama this morning. The 8 Mile Rock High School was the second institution that organizers of the newly launched program visited during a special assembly. The aim of Operation Touch is to encourage students to remain focused and keep God first. The president of Operation Touch entertained the students with a number of musical selections. He says the response to this program has been unbelievable. from the response not only from the students, but their parents. The amount of calls and emails, some hit me up on my um, uh, Facebook account of how the children were impressed, not only with the singing, but the message that we are carrying. This is the school that I graduate from. And to see the response from the faculty and staff, I, I'm, I'm more encouraged to do um, this program that we uh, have going on now. Principal Ivan Butler says they are elated about the visit as they set out to touch the lives of students in a meaningful way. It was a pleasure to have Mr. Alden here this morning. Not only did he entertain us, he spoke to the students and he encouraged them to remain focused. He, he reminded them that he came from 8 Mile Rock. And we're just blessed that so many good students came out of 8 Mile Rock in the past. And we're grateful that Mr. Alden took time out of his busy schedule to come back and share those words of encouragement, and not only to encourage our students, but to entertain them, and to staff, to support staff, and so we had a wonderful time with him this morning. Let me also say that not only did Mr. Alden um, entertain us, but he, as a good student and a good Blue Jay, he's promised to assist us with our audio um, equipment, and so we're looking forward to those donations of speakers and mixer board, and so we are very, very pleased of Mr. Alden's visit this morning. Operation Touch also visited the Bartlett Hill Primary School while in the 8 Mile Rock area. In other news, the South Andres High School located in Camps Bay is the home of the Barracudas and this coming March 2017, they will celebrate their 40th anniversary. Here on Grand Bahama, a special committee has come together to plan six months of activities leading up to the grand occasion. Public Relations Officer Cleveland Duncan says events will include basketball tournaments, talent shows, a family fun day, and a Christmas production. This Sunday, however, alumni can worship at the Friendship Native Baptist Church in Andros. 
or start a weekend is this Friday, September 30th, 2016. We are having a special live assembly on ZNS Radio. We hope to interview alumni on this day to get historical overview of the school and its progress throughout the 40 years. We will also conclude this weekend with a service of thanksgiving at the Friendship Native Baptist Church on Sunday, October 2nd in the Bluff. We are asking all alumni and former staff to participate in as many of these events as possible. Committee member and former principal Dr. Cecil Thompson is encouraging all former students, teachers and principals to get involved in the celebrations. Thompson also admits that teaching at South Andros High has been his favorite experience, noting the drive and determination of both the students and parents. The school was, this is a self-help project, a self-help project that was built and opened in 1977. I mean, the, the parents in South Andros from Driggs Hill to Mars Bay were so, uh, so, so proud of this, this high school. And, and, and those kids were taken advantage of the BJCs. The Falcons Boys Club recently made a donation of school items to three organizations in need on Grand Bahama. Kimberly Mullings has more. The Grand Bahama Children's Home, Columbus Home for Boys and Girls, and students of Genesis Academy were the recipients of a generous donation made by the Falcons Boys Club recently. President of the club, Darren Rose, says it is fitting to give back to these organizations. The Falcons Boys Club mentors boys, so the presentation this afternoon is for all of the boys that are part of these three institutions that is doing a fine job in trying to assist these young men who are having challenges at this present time. Last week, Saturday, the Falcons Boys Club was able to give 135 young men that are part of our program back to school supplies. And this coming January, we're about to celebrate 20 years of being in the community. Hindley Jones, assistant administrator at the Grand Bahama Children's Home, says the donation means a lot to them, particularly to the home's male residents. We are very grateful and thankful for this. Um, presently we have 19 children now. We just had an additional three children into the home, so this donation will certainly go a long way. Mr. Roll, he has helped us in the past and um, he's always thinking of the home. He's always been generous with food supplies, so in addition to that, this school supply is definitely a great help to us. Genesis Academy Principal Ricardo Major applauds community citizens and organizations like Roll and the Falcons Boys Club for investing in the lives of young people who find themselves in unfortunate situations. Programs like this are necessary ones that um, sometimes they are overlooked because of the persons that we have to deal with. We're dealing with young men um, that are uh, having main challenges in mainstream school. These are the young people that are going to go out in our community and it's up to us as a community to come together to see how we can assist them to give them a better start in life and especially uh, for the educational part of it to be able to assist them in having these necessary supplies for school. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Network News. Advocates for Cancer Care on Grand Bahama renewing their efforts as they continue the fight for a worthy cause. Members of the Hope Society are not letting up in their efforts to see an oncology bay established here on Grand Bahama. Cancer survivor Dulcie Darling knows all too well the agony that follows a chemotherapy session. While she's fortunate to have medical insurance, which allows her to receive treatment on the island, she says there are many cancer patients who are forced to travel to New Providence for treatment. I take chemo and after I'm finished with chemo, I'm weak. I'm often sick. Can you imagine traveling to Grand, traveling to Nassau, and you're throwing up on your way trying to get home, or you have to stay in Nassau until you're well enough? You need someone to hold your hand. President of the Hope Society, Pam Ferguson, says they are fighting with a passion. There's a couple of the uh, committee directors and members who are battling or who have survived. So we're talking, it's from a passion. So it's not a joke, it's a passion that we have. We're not going to stop until it's here. We're not going to stop, we're not going to stop until that chemo bay is here. We'll do what we have to do until we get it here. The Hope Society is preparing to host its sixth annual Hope Gala Ball on October 15th. 
While the aim is to raise funds for an oncology center, Darling is adamant that they cannot do it alone. There are many patients that we are helping. So you can imagine our funds are going to be depleted once we help persons and it's going to take away from what we're trying to do, establish this oncology center. And so that is why we need everybody to come on board and help us. Sabrina Brown, ZNS Network. It's time now to ask the doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Welcome. Yvette asks, my son is 11. Recently he showed me a small lump in his groin. Should I be concerned or is this something that will go away on its own? Yvette, thank you for your question and you're correct to be concerned about any lumps, growths, or rashes your child may develop. There are many possible causes for a lump in the groin, including simple causes like an infected hair follicle or severe heat rash to a far more serious issue like an abscess, which is a collection of pus, lymph node resulting from an infection, hernia, or possible cancer. Only a doctor can make a diagnosis after examining your son. If your son experiences red or inflamed skin, itching or burning skin, tenderness or pain, a large swollen lump or mass, these can be indications of an infection and you should make an appointment with your doctor. You should also seek medical advice if the lump gets larger, causes pain, or persists for longer than a week or 10 days. If you have similar questions about rashes or lumps that you're concerned about, Please drop them in my question box at the hospital or at any of our community clinics or email askdrbahamas at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us. We've got a live one is up next with sports.